Hey, Sergio, how are you? Hey, teachers, nice to see you again. How was your uh, week? Oh. <laughs> yeah, cool. it was it was nice. That's nice. And you? Good, good. And what did you do this weekend? Oh, the same, the same things uh, every every weekend. Normally, I do some uh, house was uh, household uh, uh, chores mm -hmm. and take care uh, of kids and watching uh, TV, listening to music, something like that. Yeah. It's a good way to relax. Sometimes it could be, it could be pretty boring. <laughs> and also study my English lessons, of course. Ah, excellent, excellent. <laughs> and you teacher, what did you do? I celebrated my daughter's birthday. Hey, congrats. How Thank old are you. how old is, is she? She's 18 years old. 18? 18. Wow. Yeah, she's getting she we had to go get her Dewey on Friday. I thought uh, I don't know why, but I thought your if you have if you had a uh, kiss, maybe they they were uh, little kids and not practically adult no no they my 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 kids are adult my oldest is 22 my daughter is 18 and then the youngest that i have is going to be 14 oh you almost finished uh, the process <laughs> yeah 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 really yes i'm happy <laughs> you, you are so advanced <laughs> exactly mm -hmm. yeah that's right that's it I thought I, I thought maybe I was in a mistake because because I I didn't see anyone in the room and I and I wonder, hey, really uh, is going to be class or not? I, I'm not sure. I wonder. I was wondering, but I I right now I know that there are more students with me. <laughs> uh huh. It's because you were very early today, Sergio. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit. That wow, well, right now is is eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's no problem. Okay, that's no problem. <laughs> and Ada Wilbur, Maritza, how are you? Hi, hi everyone. Hi, Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How was your weekend, teacher? Good, good. A, a nice relaxing weekend. Well, that's good. And yours? Oh, it was a tough weekend. Only study English and do it the uh -huh. meantime. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the teacher's it? fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm so sure. I'm so sure. <laughs> did you finish the uh, the exam? Yes, I did. Ah, I, okay. I can imagine you were like laying in like in a hamaca and really? then you were thinking the students, I think they are doing the midterm and I'm here in the hamaca. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, hmm, I wonder how many of my students are going to say, no, I, I couldn't, I had, I, I, I didn't have winter, I, I, I went out, I, uh -huh. usually it's a lot of excuses. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. Yeah. Well, the great thing is right now, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our partners. We're going to uh, take a moment, just a few minutes, not a long time. And we're just going to take a moment and discuss our weekend, what we did, uh, what happened, where did we go, who did we spend the time with, just things like that, okay? Okay. All right, so only a few minutes, only three minutes, and then we come back. Let's take a moment.
Marcela, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. What did you do? Ernesto, what is the question, Ernesto? Ernestina? Hey, so far. Buenas noches, teacher. Excuse me. I don't understand what is the 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 homework or, or what what happened. Yeah, to talk about your weekend, what you did this weekend. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, how do you say fiestas patronales? Uh, don't exist in this form, but you usually say religious festivals. Religious festival, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yep. Jose, how are you? Jose, you okay? Uh, yes, teacher. Good, good. How was your weekend, Jose? Uh, dreadful, teacher. Is he going? Because uh, I was watching the Olympics. Which did you like? What, what, what did you watch? The volleyball? Uh, but a little bit about basketball and skateboarding. Baseball. Okay. I watched the, the, the volleyball. Um, what? Uh, which teacher? Um, volleyball beach or normal? No, no, no. The, the beach. The beach volleyball. I, I, watched, I watched the, uh, the also the women's is soccer, the beach soccer. Softball. No, the, the beach soccer for El Salvador. Ah, uh, yeah. Because okay. they have a new group of uh, soccer for, for uh, beach soccer for women. The tournaments. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. New for me that. <laughs> All right, well, before we continue and we go on to unit four, were there any questions about the exam, any parts that were difficult or that you didn't understand from the midterm? No, it was very easy. Hey, Lemar, I like that. I like that idea. I have yes, a doubt. Mm -hmm. It was pretty easy. I have a doubt. Tell us, Marcela, go ahead, tell us. <laughs> okay, I have a doubt with the indirect request as teacher. With which one? With indirect request. Uh huh. Okay. So let's mm -hmm. stop it. In the platform, in the video 3.11, there is a exercise about uh, a few sentences. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Jennifer, where is the part? This is a, a sentence. Uh, a sentence in the video. Okay. So, for make a a request, is Jennifer where the part is? That is correct. Okay, you're talking to Jennifer. What's the what? What was the question again, Marcela? Say it again. Jennifer, where is the party? Okay. So, in request is Jennifer, where the party is? No, not exactly, because you need, uh, in order to have the indirect request, you need to have an expression at the beginning. So give me a second and I'll share with you, okay. 
So if Jennifer were the party, you need to have, for example, can you, could you ask? Okay, that's the first part. And then you need to have a object. For example, in this case, it would be, could you ask Jennifer where the party is? Right? Because, yeah, we'll there. because you need, at the beginning, mm -hmm. You need to have the idea of can you or could you, and then we usually use ask or tell. So here we can see we have a couple examples where we are using the idea for ask. Okay, so here we can see you, can you tell or can you ask, we use and then because it's a WH question, the last one, we have to follow this rule, okay? So we start with when, and then we eliminate the auxiliaries. For example, it does, do, things like that, and then just the, the words. So can you ask Jennifer when the party begins, when the, or where the party is, or when the party starts, like that. Okay, I got it. Okay, good, Barca. Good. Anybody else have any questions? No, everybody else finished unit three? The exam, no problems? Teacher. Lydia. I can't in the letter C, in the put uh, the word in order. I can't. In the exam. I try sometime. Lydia, in the exam. Yeah, in the exam, teacher. In the exam, let's take a look. Letter C. Letter C. Um, is that the mixed? The mixed. Can you help me? <laughs> let's see. Maybe the classmates can help you. Let's let's take a look. In the in the ex uh, yeah. A, B, B, C. C. This. Put the words in the correct order. Because uh, uh, for me, that subject is I, I don't. Uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind. Correct. Keep, keep helping. Help her. I don't mind when. I don't mind when it. forget. When someone forget my name. Forget. forget. My name. Someone. Exactly. Very good, guys. That's good. That's excellent. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> I don't. I don't mind it when someone forget my name. Mm -hmm. In the second one. I don't know. Here, help me for the second, please. <laughs> All right, who we else have. can help? Who else can help with number two? Me, okay. I, I can I can send, I can send it when send I, I can send people, 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 people are late for for appointments. Appointments. Correct, correct. The beginning. Repeat, please. I I can't stand it. Correct. I can't stand it. Can stand it. Yes. Can't stand it. Who can finish the sentence? I can. When people, mm -hmm. when people are late for appointments. for appointments. Correct. Very good, Maria. Good. The last one is. The last it one? makes me. It makes me it's happy me. when a friend I takes see. me out to lunch. To lunch. That's right, Iris. Very good. Okay, thank you, everybody. Hey, I tried. Welcome. But you understand? The important is you understand, not, not that you have the answer. The important is you understand how to make it. If yeah. you don't know, I can send you the answer on the group. Lydia, do, do, do you want Ivania to send you the answers or no? Yes, yes, Ivania, please. Okay. I said that. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Sorry, yes. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Jose, do you have a question? 
this is what we are saying. Uh, you will know how to do that yes. very well. Okay. But now it's okay. Kind of, kind of. Okay. So in in general, the the way that you begin or the way to make those sentences is your opinion. Your opinion is the first part. I can't stand it. I love it. I hate it. And then is the complement with WH. When, where, who, okay? And then the final. So the most important is that when you're doing it is your opinion is the first. Then after your opinion, we use the WH. And then finally the complement. Is that okay for everyone? Yes, it is. Yeah. All right, perfect, guys. Well, I love it. I love that you guys were able to do the exam and the exam is clear, right? Like the horchata. Yes. <laughs> Excellent, 80 or more, 80 or more on the exam. Okay. So if everybody's okay with that, let's continue then. Perfect. Then we begin lesson four, okay? This is where we're telling stories. Remember last week we talked about it? This week, what are we going to do? What was the presentation you have this week? A spooky tale. Ah, it can be any tale, that's right. We were going to tell, talk about stories like which ones? What were some of the examples I gave you? A spooky tale. La Siguanaba, exactly. La carreta chillona. La carreta chillona, el situtío. Uh -huh, uh -huh. El hombre sin cabeza. El jinete sin cabeza. Yeah. Yeah. It can be any story you want. Any story you want. Because the important for me is not the story. The important is the vocabulary, the fluency. This is the important. That's the important part. Okay, so to help us a little bit, before we, we tell our stories, we're going to watch a small video, right? And we're going to watch a video of people telling stories, okay? Because we're going okay. to... Now, this is called, in English, many times people refer to it as campfire stories. Do you know what is the campfire? Campfire. Fogata. Yeah, that's right. That's the campo campfire. de fuego, teacher. That's the campfire. And look at this. Only I look at the woman in this scary. Look at her. She looks scary. So let's watch the story and see. Okay. In this moment, the objective is to listen and identify what is the story. What is the campfire story they tell? Okay? okay. 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 So in this moment, listen and what is the campfire story they tell? And they really, really. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? The scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. And Christina, put your microphone on mute because we can hear and interrupt. Thank you. ...to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. 
When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. Was there a fire at the farm? Yes, and as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Ollie's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead, Bride. So, how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then, Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But, the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers, and they're in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that. Thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore. Really? But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. So now what are we going to do? Well, with our partners, we're going to get in our groups and we're going to try to tell the story in our own words. What is happening? What is the story about? Why are the girls scared? Who is the man? A lot of information, right? So what is the video about? What happens in the story? Okay. Why are the girls scared? And the most important, of course, is also, okay, who is the man? You ready for the groups? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's go.
Rodrigo, you okay? Yeah. All right. So, okay. Now let's check together. Okay. First, what happened in the video? There were three gold, uh, three girls uh, in a campfire. Okay. Good. Perfect. So there are three girls in the campfire. And they're telling the stories, right? What is the story about? Is there the farmer on tragedy for farmer? Okay, so a tragedy, a tragedy for the farmer. What is the tragedy? Fire the, in the farm. Correct, correct, good. There's a fire in the farm, good. And who is on the farm? The lady. Theodore's wife. Yeah, the lady or the farmer's wife. Perfect. Good. And what happens to the lady or to the farmer's wife? She dies. She dies in the house. She dies in the she fire. She died on, on the fire. That's right. She died in the fire. And then what happened to the farmer? It's crazy and confused. He the refused farmer? to believe. He refused to believe that, that she was dead. She was dead. Okay. He refused to believe that she was dead. Exactly. And then what, what is the story? What happened with the farmer? He searched for her day and day and at night uh, by the forest. But then the people saw him less and less uh, until nobody seen him anymore. But the people stay say that uh, he walks in the forest by night. Excellent. Yeah. So he's walking. With wildflowers. Ah, with wildflowers. Yes. He exactly. carried a, a white flower bouquet. That's right. That's right. So he's walking every day and he's carrying wildflowers looking for the wife. Very good. Excellent. So similar, what we're going to do is you are going to prepare 
a story to talk about any story that you want. El Cipitio, La Cigonaba, eh, whatever story that you know, eh, uh, the three pigs, whatever, whatever story you want. The important for me is you can tell the story in your own words. We are going to learn a little bit of grammar to help you tell the story correctly. When you tell a story, you need to use the past, the simple past, and the past continuous normally, because the story is in the past, right? You are talking about what happened before. So to help you with what happened, we're going to learn a little bit of the grammar so that we can tell the stories correctly. In this moment, we are in unit four. This is 4.3. Unit four, 4.3 the difference between the past progressive and the simple past. Do you remember the difference between these two? Uh, past progressive is with ing, I guess. Excellent. Yes. Yes, past progressive is with ing. Yes. Past progressive uh, is starting the past but continuing in the present. Oh, so, so, not, not continue in the present, but yes, continue in the past. Okay. And the simple past interrupt the action. The simple past stopped the action. So here, let's watch and see a few examples. You were doing an activity such as eating. Wait. Can you hear? Is the volume okay? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. okay. Yes, teacher. Let's try. Dinner, and you were interrupted, uh, let's say by uh, a friend or someone called you. In order to express this idea, you must use the two tenses together. So, for example, I was eating dinner last night when my girlfriend called me. So, let's look at the definition. We use the past progressive with the simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. So if we look at this example here, they were enjoying the morning. This is the action that was in progress. And there was an interruption. That interruption was that when the thief stole the briefcase. So now let's look at some other examples. We got about two or three examples here. And um, again, we are trying to express that whole idea that there was a Okay, let me explain so it's clear. So we have the past continuous is the red line. You see the red line? That is, that is the past continuous. This is the part that is the verb to be and I. This is the verb to be and ing. The simple past is the blue X, the blue X. Why? Because the simple past stop the past continuous or interrupt the past continuous. So as an example, he was escaping from the bank. This is the red line. The man in the process of escaping, but the robber got caught in the revolving door. Here, interrupt the escape with the revolving doors. That's the idea for the simple- Continuous action continuous. happening in the past and there was an interrupt. Okay. Let's take a look at this other example. The secretary was making a speech. This is the red line. So the secretary is speaking. This is the red one. And then what happened? Ah, the blue line. When a protester threw an egg at her. In this moment, interrupt the secretary by throwing an egg. Does that make sense? It's okay? Yes. It's clear, teacher. Okay. Okay, good. Now, it's very common to use while or as in the past, continuous. So it's very common to use those words or when, when you have it. The important is that it interrupts. So, while the driver, ah, you see, this is going to be the red. Okay, this is the driver in the red. How do we put the verb? Why? And was working. Was working. 
Okay, while the driver was working. Okay, Let's see if we can get, they put it there. Perfect, okay. Oh, it says divers. It said drivers, let me see. Ah, yes, it's plural, that's why. So that's why the divers was or were, because it's plural. The divers were working off the coast of Florida. They, what happened? The blue action, what did, what interrupt the working? Discovered. Correct, with ED. So they discovered, ED, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. The divers, here we have film. Now, this is the red line. This is, they were doing, the, what were the divers doing? The divers? We're filming. We're, we're, filming. Filming. we're filming. We're filming. Correct. The divers were in the process. They were filming, correct? They were filming. This is the red. They were filming a show about the coral reef. When, what happened? What's the blue? When what they found? Found. Um, ah, exactly. When they found, what? Well, let me go back a little bit. Perfect. There we go. They found the gold. So how does this work? Well, the red line is going to be the past continuous, which is the verb to be and ing. Okay. And the other, the blue line is only going to be the simple past. Is that okay? Does that make sense? It's okay. It's okay? Yes. Perfect, perfect, okay. So now what are we going to do? We're gonna try using it and making sure that it's clear so that it's, we don't have any problems with it, okay? So one more time, the past continuous is the verb to be and ing. The simple past interrupt the other action. So for this, we are going to do exercise 4.4, okay, 4.4, I show you one more time, that way it's clear, this one, knowledge check 4.4, okay, in the platform with our partners. Okay. This one, maybe we need a little bit more time because we need to analyze and make sure that everything is okay. So. I give you and your partners a few more minutes, okay? Let's try. Jose, I'll put the video for you one more time, just in case you need some questions. Answer. Okay, so what I'm, all of a sudden this action was interrupted by this blue event, which is the robber got caught in the revolving door. Um, and then the next example is quite similar. As Jake was running towards the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. The last one is, uh, similar, the secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. Um, just a quick reminder here, um, also something that we should uh, keep in mind is that usually, not all the time, while and as will follow a past continuous statement. So as you can see, while he was escaping from the bank, as Jake was running. So typically, these words will follow a past progressive um, statement, if you will. So what we're going to try to do next is we're going to look at a small paragraph and we're going to try to make sense of it. I will do this one together with you guys and you will do the next one. So what we want to do here is, number one, we want to identify if the statement will be in the past progressive form or it will be a simple past form. In order to do that, we must follow this um, concept that I mentioned that we will use the past continuous for an action that was in progress 
in the simple past for an action that interrupted that particular action. So the two events are related to one another. Um, sometimes the events may be separate from each other, and that's when uh, that's the kind of thing that you need to understand. So let's look at the first one. What you're going to do is you're going to use these verbs in parentheses that you see here, and you will either turn those into a past progressive form or a simple past form. So while diverse, as I mentioned previously, uh, typically we will use whenever you see this word, it will typically follow a past progressive form. But let's make sure that it makes sense. While so while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they and here we should use this verb. Okay, but then we have to change that into a past progressive form. So let's see. So while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars. So yes, it looks like this first event is related to the second sentence. Therefore, this is the action that was in progress, and this next sentence is the interruption of this event. So let's kind of like make it work. So while divers were working, that will be our first answer there. Off the coast of Florida, they Discover shipwrecked containing gold worth $2 million. Okay, so that makes sense for the first one there. Now let's look at the next one. The divers. Uh, and also the next sentence also appears that there was an action that was in progress and then there was an interruption. Okay, so this one, uh, we're going to use the verbs in parentheses. So, so the divers. And we're going to say where we're going to take that verb and we need to change that into a progressive form. We're filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. And we also need to change that verb into a past form. So there we go. Okay, so what I'd like for you to do is to identify whether the sentences are related to one another. And if so, identify what was the action that was in progress and what other action interrupted that first action. So you're going to do this using the past continuous and the simple past form. So let's see how you did with your partners. Let's see if we have all of those answers that are correct. Let's try together. Okay. So let's see. While divers, what do you think is the correct way? We're working. working. Okay. We're working. Okay. Discover. 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 Okay. In present or in past? Past. 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 Good. Remember the pronunciation is with a strong D. Discovered. 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 What about the next one? The divers? We're We're filming. Filming. We're filming. 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 All of those are correct. Very good. Now let's look at the next part. As a woman was walking, walking with her pet poodle down the street, a hairstylist noticed them through the window and suddenly had a great idea. Later, while he was creating. Was, was, was creating. creating. Was creating a new line of hair care products for cats. He came, came up with new hair care. Mm. Class, he came up with a new slogan. Even animals have bad hair days. And yes. Yes. 
is. So the same for you and your partners. You should have 100. The same you and your partners. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. So now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to develop the skills for talking about uh, and listening for stories. So right now, we're going to go with our partners and we're going to begin trying to tell our stories. The idea is today is going to be perfect, but today we're going to practice and then we're going to practice tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we can give the presentation, okay? Okay. <clears throat> okay. okay. So in this moment, you need to do a couple of things. One, select the story that you're going to talk about. For example, I'm going to talk about La Carta Chiona. My partner is going to talk about La Ciguanaba. My other partner is going to talk about, eh, I don't know, the three- El Cadejo. El Cadejo, uh-huh. With the beer. Mm -hmm. what yeah. like. In this moment, we need to do two things. One, select a story. And two, identify which words we need to know with our partners. Hey, como se dice, is, this is the moment to write because this is going to be your investigation. Hey, como se dice carreta in English? Ah, you need to search. You need to look for it. Ah, como se dice? And then you need to, I, first, Identify the story, and second, identify the vocabulary you need for your story. Okay? Okay. Okay, all right. So let's go with our partners and let's get those stories started. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll develop skills in listening for details, develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives.
Okay. How did we do? Do we have some of the words that we need? We have our story, the idea of which story we're going to tell. Yes. Okay. I think I at least we have now the story that we're going to say. <laughs> okay, no problem. Let's begin practicing now, okay? Who would like to try to tell their story? Hi, everybody's scared. It's okay. Without practicing, it's kind of hard. We are shy. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. That's why I help you because if you need vocabulary, you need words, I can help you. I have one question. Yes, Alejandro. Uh, does the story have to be from El Salvador or no, it could no, be no. from another country? It could be from any country. Ah, okay. That, mm -hmm. that's, uh, it doesn't have to be from El Salvador. We were talking about Cipitillo's uh, legend. Okay. Tell and uh, he was a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, he has um, a big, a, a big stomach cake, or how do you say pants? A big stomach. Stomach. Mm -hmm. A big stomach. A big yes. stomach, and he eats a. Uh, my, my partner looked for the, the ceniza, but I don't remember. Ash. Ashes. Ash. Ashes yes. or ash. ashes. Ashes. He eats ashes and she and he likes girls with long hair. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Jose. Uh, in my case, I am I will talk about El Cadejo. I don't know if I can say El Cadejo in English because it's a name, a little name, I guess it's a Spanish name or exists in, Sp in English. The Cadejo is the name, yes, the Cadejo is okay. the name. Uh -huh. the name. And, and in this moment, I actually, I was reading about it in Spanish and basically uh, the Cadejo, uh, they appear at, at night when usually when the men are drunk and drinking alcohol, right, you know, and the animals just appear and they, that animals help us to go to house. Basically, I read, I was reading that, like trying to, to tell the story right away, you know. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's enough start. So we have the other one, okay, El Calejo, good. All right, who else? What other story do you have the idea for? Uh -huh, Dennis, I want to talk about Suana. It's, it's hard to hear you, Dennis, for the cartoons. Cartoons are the stories. I think. It's okay, Dennis. It's okay. Don't worry. It happens. We have children. It's okay. <laughs> uh huh, Wilbur. What happened with your story? Well, you said that we can choose any story of we want. Yes, of so course. I was thinking on uh, the three little pigs. Ah, <laughs> good story. The three little pigs. Yeah, it's. Uh, a kid, uh, story kids, right? Uh -huh. It's a story for kids, yes. Yeah. Mm. So maybe I will read the story. And But I know a little bit that there was like uh, the mom of, the, of these three little pigs. But then when they uh, grew up, right? Mm hmm when they grew up, they went uh, to look uh, for their own uh, in the middle of the forest. And it, it, all of them had to build their own house. But the first one, it was uh, like uh, like the grass, the grass house. Mm -hmm. the, the other one is a wood house. And the third one, a uh, house made with blocks. 
concrete blocks, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then there is a walk, but I will tell more details on Wednesday. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah, the important is we begin little by little, little by little. Hey, Neymar, you are from Venezuela. Yes. How do you know that? Because it's in the chat. Everybody says. <laughs> what? <laughs> tell us our story. Tell us our story. Uh, uh, you, you, you don't check the chat. Venezuela. You see? You no, have to check the I'm chat. Uh -huh. and yes, I am from Venezuela. Where is, where is the story from Venezuela, Leymar? A uh, story could be El Silbón, the whist, whistler. Okay. Tell us. Tell us a little bit about El Silbón. Uh, let me. I'm going to try to remember. Uh -huh. Uh, is um, it's a legend about a young man who uh, one day killed his own father, mm -hmm. and then his grandfather wanted to punish him, um, to, and tying him to a tree, and como se dice, hit him. Oh, okay. Uh, until he blend. Um, then he condemned him to carry his father's remains. Um, how good? Well, the <laughs> I like I'm going to try to, to explain. Uh -huh. The boy was, uh, the thing is that the boy is walking around the, the, um, the plains in Venezuela, and he always, uh, Silva, how do you say it? Whistle. 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 Something like, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> That's good. Okay, good. That's good. Thank you. Thank you, Lima. All right. Well, now you have the idea of what you need to prepare for your oral presentation, right? Today, one more time, we completed and so that we can start tomorrow here in the new story. Tomorrow we start with 4.6. So tomorrow we begin 4.6. And we also have tomorrow and Wednesday before you have your presentation of your story, okay? Okay. Teacher, okay. when is the last day? Ah, the last day is after vacation. We continue for in, after August. Oh, okay. Uh huh. That we have this week. And, and the vacation the is week, the, next the week, whole no week. Classes. Yes, the next week no class. The whole week is vacation, and then yeah. and then after vacation we we continue more classes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This week we are going to finish the section four. Am I right? No. Which week? This week. This week. Uh huh. No, I don't think so, because we have to do the oral presentations and the presentation. Uh, for the is maybe one day for each person because Wilbur two minutes, Jose two or three minutes, and then okay. for all the class to pass is one day only for the presentations. Okay, okay. And we have a, ma a maximum uh, minute, uh, a maximum yes, time. Ma maximum time three minutes. Maximum time three minutes to give opportunity for everyone. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Have a good night. Yeah. And I see you tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, bye, bye, bye teacher. Good bye. night. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. Have a good